when water harvesting is the most common technique used in city areas. Rain water is collected on the roof and transported with gutters to a storage reservoir where it provides water at the point of consumption. So let's see further detailed steps of this rainwater harvesting techniques. Rainfall pattern over the year is important to determine whether rainwater harvesting system compatible or not. This system suitable for tropical climate with short dry seasons and wet tropical climate. As a general rule, rainfall should be over 300 mm per year. Kuala Lumpur is suitable to implement this system as the average rainfall is 2366.2 mm per year. The first component of a rainwater harvesting is the catchment area. There exist various types of harvesting structure systems. For example, the industrial buildings may install a system on top of the building, and for residential houses, usually it depends on their roofs. The slope of the roof affects how quickly water will run off. Less steep roof has a slower runoff, hence brings in more contamination, such as bird droppings, dirt, and small twigs. Whereas for steeper roof, there is a faster runoff, having lesser contamination. Delivery system consists of gutter and down pipe. They are sized are based on rainfall intensity and roof area. Gutter usually just below the roof and catches water falls from the roof. Could be made using galvanized iron or PVC material. While down pipe transport water from gutter to storage tank. PVC pipes are preferred. Then, the first spell of rain is flushed out using first flush device as it carries high pollutants from the air and roof surface. The storage tank contains a filtration system to filter out unwanted matters. It is layered with gravel, charcoal and sand. There are two types of storage reservoir which is small scale storage and large scale storage. The small scale storage is common in developing countries such as using plastic bowl, bucket and old oil drums. For storing larger quantity of water, the system would usually require a tank above and below ground. For domestic system, volume are typically up to a maximum of 20 or 30 cubic meters. Surface tanks are common for roof collection that can be made of metal, wood, plastic or fiberglass. The designations of subsurface tanks must have walls that can resist the external water pressure when empty. Refrigeration tank is used to collect water from a storage tank which can be used for replenishing a well or aquifer. During rainy season, the excess rainwater is used to recharge drought well as well as groundwater. In this case, the water quality will improve in the drought well. As we know, everything technology do have pros and cons. So here's the advantages of this rainwater harvesting, where the cost for buying city water supply can be saved. It provides water at the point of consumption and can reduce flooding and clogging of drains. While for disadvantages, it will be limited by the amount of rainfall and the size of the catchment area, needs proper operation and regular maintenance, and rainwater quality may be affected by animal or bird droppings, dirt and organic matter. Several rainwater harvesting systems have been implemented by Malaysian government. For example, National Zoo that located in Ampang Selangor University Tun Usain On Hostel in Batu Pahat, Johor and lastly, Bukit Indah Mas in Ampang.